And when did the military start to think about this as something that uh, the military needed to prepare for and started getting concerned about climate change in the context of in growing international conflicts? Well, about seven years ago, the Center for Naval Analysis uh, Military Advisory Board, a board composed of uh, very distinguished three and four star retired admirals and generals, uh, released a report that for the first time identified climate change as a threat multiplier and an accelerant to instability uh, that could in fact impact national security. Hasn't the need or desire for resources uh, been a, a big factor in triggering conflicts? Uh, why is this any different? Well, the difference here is that we're changing in, in military terms. What I would say is we're changing the whole physical battle space. Uh, the difference is that the way the climate changes is going to affect our food, our energy, our water, food, energy, and water that every single person, not just the developed world, but every single person in the world really has a need and I would argue a right to. Uh, how are those distributions gonna happen? The water is gonna fundamentally change and as water changes, that changes our ability to both grow and produce food as well as produce energy. And, you know, as we mentioned, the American public is not taking this uh, as seriously as I know you believe they should. Uh, a March Gallup poll found that only a third of Americans say they care a great deal about it. And that's about the same as they cared in 1989. Is part of the problem that some of the predictions in the past have been overstated and that people are turning a deaf ear? I think climate, almost by definition, it's, it's diffuse, it's abstract, it's something that most people think about in the future. Uh, I tell people we plan for a future climate, but we live in weather today. So you, take a, you start looking at what the weather that we're living in today is. Increasing hotter summers, increasing droughts. When it rains, it rains harder. We tend to get floods uh, and we get, we get more of them or more intense rainfall. We see the seas coming up. We saw what kind of storm surge we got from Superstorm Sandy, uh, and a bunch of that was, in fact, because it's an elevated sea level rise. And a quick, As, final, a quick final question for you. What, what do you think that will mean in the context of international conflict? I think it could go either one of two ways. It could be every person for themselves, and it could be that accelerant or that catalyst for instability, or we could possibly see the, the change in climate as a common enemy, if you will, and this would actually be something that we could possibly agree upon to fight as a, uh, as a collective world.